Welcome to the latest edition of Beeb Watch. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan, and I'm putting the state broadcaster under the microscope, giving it the talk TV treatment. And remember, I'm watching the BBC, so you don't have to. Let's talk about BBC ageism. For the last 12 years, the very popular Reverend Richard Coles has hosted Saturday Live on Radio 4. He has now quit that show, uh, saying that he was leaving. He has subsequently revealed, uh, to use his own expression, I was rather hurtled towards the exit. In other words, they kicked him out. Why did they kick him out? Because he's over 60. And I don't understand why the state broadcaster does this. Look at what they've done recently. They got rid of Ken Bruce by far and away. Britain's most popular DJ. Massive audience, five days a week on Radio 2. Kicked him out the door. That followed the departure of the almost equally popular Steve Wright. Not forgetting Liz Kershaw and a whole host of other people who felt unwelcome despite years and years of devoted service to the BBC. It's mad, it's mad. Why would you take the biggest hit in all of radio, the Ken Bruce show, and say, oh, let's get rid of that because he's a bit old. He's gone off to another channel where he's storming it. BBC is killing itself with this ridiculous policy. And also, let's not forget, uh, at Talk TV, our very own Vanessa Feltz, who presented two Radio 2 shows, uh, lots of TV shows as well, for uh, the best part of 20, 30 years at the State Broadcaster. She recently quit and came to us because she'd reached the witching age of 60. Uh, and to be fair, she said that nobody told her to leave, but she could tell it was time for her to leave. This is crazy and it's unfair. It's really unfair. Uh, you know, Richard Cole's very popular guy was on Strictly Come Dancing. As he said, he gave the BBC his un alloyed loyalty, but they did not repay it. He actually said that, they did not repay my loyalty. So that is the way this organization reacts to people who get to a certain age. And I think it's wrong. I just think it's wrong. And it's also stupid. It's stupid. You don't take people who are successful and kick them out because they've got 6-0 on their birthday cards. Absolutely bizarre, absurd, ageist, prejudiced, Wrong. Too many big stars, too many successful shows are leaving the BBC, but one show that I really wish would leave the BBC is Question Time. What has happened to that show? In something like three or four years, it's gone from must-see to must-miss television. Now, the host, Fiona Bruce, everyone goes, oh, it's Fiona Bruce, she's fantastic, she's fantastic. Is she? Is she? She hasn't been very good hosting Question Time. She's the worst, least successful host that show's ever had. She's presided over a catastrophic decline. Hardly anyone watches it anymore. The guests are atrocious. You know, they're no marks, no one's ever heard of. Minor politicians, backbenchers, stupid journalists from The Guardian. That's about it. They fill every audience with left-wingers who just clap and applaud every time somebody says Tories are awful. It's become a propaganda machine for BBC left-wing bias. The audience, the home audience, has deserted in its droves. Again, madness, madness. What, what, how did they get to this? The most powerful people in the land, cabinet ministers, prime ministers sometimes, used to fight to get onto that programme because it would attract an audience of six, seven, eight million. You get your ideas out there. It was a fascinating programme to watch, participated in by the most important people in the country. Now, it's a bunch of people you've never heard of, all left wing usually, with a token right winger, just talking drivel about unimportant issues. It's pathetic. And by the way, let's stop worshipping Fiona Bruce, eh? Let's call her out for what she is, a deeply, deeply unsuccessful, failed host of the former hit programme, Question Time, which is now in the toilet. <laughs> The end of an era as Jeremy Paxman bowed out of University Challenge after hosting that uh, legendary show for 29 years. Guess who took over? Well, it's hardly worth asking. The person who took over that job is the person that gets every job at the BBC now, Amal Rajan. 
Uh, now, he's a nice bloke and he's an extremely competent broadcaster, don't get me wrong. Former editor of The Independent, so my God, you know, he's a talented man. But does he deserve every job that's going at the BBC? He was the media ed editor for a number of years. He's been the lead host on the flagship Today programme on Radio 4 now for three or four years. Now University Challenge, he has his own interview series. They parachute him in every time there's a big banner interview to be done. I mean, BBC people, there are other journalists available, you know. Now, again, I must stress, he's a good guy and a very talented guy. You know, you don't turn around and say, I'm not taking that job. I don't want another £100,000 a year. Of course, he takes these jobs. But what about other people? This is classic of the BBC. He is, has the good fortune at the moment to be the state broadcaster's big obsession. Do you remember the Claire Balding years when every job there was went to Claire Balding? Claire Balding, call for Claire. Let's get Claire in. Yeah, let's get Claire in. She doesn't know anything about this. She'll be the ideal host. Now it's Amal Rajan. So a warm welcome to Amal Rajan, host of everything. And finally, I'm gonna leave you with a question. What should the BBC do about Jack Nichols? Jack Nichols has, for some years, been the commentator for the big Grand Prix races. He's known as the voice of Formula One. Now, apart from the BBC, he also works for a channel called Formula E, which has just dismissed him after allegations of inappropriate behaviour towards female staff. Now, Jack uh, has said that he accepts the reason for his dismissal and takes responsibility for what happened. Now, make of that what you will, but now he still works for the BBC, the voice of Formula One. I wonder what the state broadcaster is going to do about Jack. Watch this space. That's it for another week. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, whether you agree with me or not. If you like this show, why don't you subscribe? Unlike the BBC, it's completely free. Anyway, I'm off to watch ITV and my favorite program this morning.